Hello, I'm Toy Cat, and one of the depressing things about getting old are the things that you start to find enjoyable. I've started to enjoy the taste of even uh, some of the things that I would have hated as a child. Some vegetables actually taste good now, it's mind-blowing, but the weirder one might be the fact that some alcohols are genuinely enjoyable. Even the margarita filled with tequila, which is the worst spirit, it's the punishment uh, spirit when you're a teenager, I've started to enjoy, and you know what, if I'm going to enjoy a drink like that, and I live in a place that is filled with holiday makers, I might as well find the very best margarita in all of Las Vegas, and so that's what today's video is. If I'm being honest, this is actually just, I want to try a lot of beverages, but the end result is going to be finding out which is the best in all of the Las Vegas Strip. And so yeah, we'll start with the Mandalay Bay. Let's see what they have to offer in this very specific category. By the way, the Mandalay Bay is the big gold one of the South Strip. It's so shiny and gold that the reflection of the sun of the building is then gold when it hits the ground. And so you can't even look at the ground without squinting and going blind. Also, apparently I have rickshaws here. Today I learned. By the way, margarita and margarita. What's 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 the deal with that? Are they the same thing? Can you can you put a pizza in your drink? Are margaritas Mexican? Could you put the drink on a pizza? Anyone know that? Okay, let's let's go to the drink. What a strange, <laughs> what a strange thing that just showed up. But that was like an NPC event, you know, like just the guy on a bike. If I had spoke to him, he'd have given me a quest to find some ice cream like that. But I'm not here for ice creams. I'm here for pizzas and or uh, I'm here for the the, the, the the drinks that go in the mouth that sound like the pizza. Yeah, see so, uh I think I think there's a place called the Border Grill. And if it's on the border. So this is a margarita from Hussons. This is called the original margarita. It costs $13 and they claim to literally have the original margarita. Like they made it in their Mexican restaurant in 1960. This is a place that only has two locations, that original Mexican restaurant and one here in the Las Vegas Strip, which feels kind of strange. I, I wonder why it expands straight into another country, right into Las Vegas. But how does it taste? Let's find out. Ooh, very different to what I was expecting. Much stronger, much, much more sharp, I guess I'd say. If that's the original, I'm gonna try it with the... If that's the original... Okay, it's like, okay after this. If that's the original, I just have to say like, well, it's, it's fine, it's acceptable. I'll drink it because, I mean, it's like a decent, it, I, a decent is an quotes price, but I'll drink it, it's fine. Is this the best thing in the world? No. It might be a 6 out of 10. All my standards are too high. You know, actually, bring it down to a 5 out of 10. But I also got a pineapple jalapeno margarita. So... Ooh! It's spicy. I'm starting to think there are jalapenos in this. I'd say this is a... Yeah, I, I like the flavors in this, but it really underpins the base margarita. It's just okay. It's just fine. It's a, this is a five, six out of ten place. Would recommend it if you want to try the original. But is the original great? Not for me. This is the third margarita of the evening. It is from Skyfall Lounge. Uh, they don't actually have a margarita on the menu, I just said, hey, can you make a margarita? And they said yes. So for $18, here's our second option. This place has an amazing view, it's on the 64th floor. Vegas is quite a flat city, so that's quite incredible. But let's see what a margarita costs, or what a margarita tastes like at this price level. Honestly, I just like salt. I could just lick salt all evening long. I'd be happy. I might be like a guinea pig or something. Ooh! See, there's a little bit, bit more complexity to that. There's you can taste the liminess and the predictable thing. You can taste the tequila, has got a little bit more of a, uh, less of a burn and more of a, ooh, to it. And whatever else is in there. Mmm. That's working quite well for me. I haven't reached Margarita Nirvana yet, but I've definitely gone to an 8 out of 10. Big fan of this. And for $5 more, why wouldn't you enjoy your drink this much more? By the way, even though you can see the Mandalay Bay behind me, if you look this way, you can see the the six-lane highway, or the six separate sets of lane highway that is I-15. 
So if you like to watch Traffic All Day, it is weird. It's, what, it's like watching ants. Every car is doing something that's so important to them, and yet thousands of them are moving an hour. And then there's a parking lot with like a thousand cars. One car's like, where should I park? To us, it's so obvious, but to him, it's not. It's interesting to me. I, something about the Alpine view is very nice. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to my table and enjoy the rest of my margarita. Where will we go next? It's actually, uh, wait, actually, can I show you? Can I show you where we go next? So um, I think it'll look cool from here. This is the Las Vegas Strip. It's the busiest set of hotels in the world. That is a pyramid. I want to say it's an Egyptian-themed casino. And I'm going in there next to Diablo's Cantina. Okay, I'm here now, but this is my first time in the Luxor. It's an Egyptian themed casino. Look up here. This is the highest ceiling casino. It's amazing. Uh, maybe that's the free margarita speaking, but we'll find out after the fourth at Diablo's Cantina, described on Google reviews as white people Mexican, which sounds like my people, you know, I, if I was going to have a type of Mexican, would that not be it? Am I not a white people? You know, it's a lie. I'm slightly Asian, but let's, let's go. Let's see what it's like. I lied to you. There's, there's a long line. It's a Sunday, I assumed everywhere would be empty, but I assumed wrong. Let's go to the next place over. Oh, maybe, okay, you know what, the line's moving. I lied to you about lying to you. I'm telling the truth now. It can't be a 10 out of 10, right? Like, I, it, it can come with beer bottles, but I don't like drip beer. I'm sure it would be a 10 if you love beer. But for me, this is a 9.5 out of 10. For the, for the price to value, yes. For the experience, yes. I'm gonna keep this cup and I'm gonna use it for cereal. I, they say it's a souvenir cup, so I assume you can take it home. We'll find out by trying to take it home. But, uh, mm, so good. Next up is the Nomad Bar of Las Vegas. It claims to be a library, it claims to be a bar. And yet, which is it? We'll find out after drinking their specialty margarita. Assuming they have one, of course. Let's walk in and see what happens. Okay, you know a place is fancy when it asks you to wait outside for five minutes for perceivably no reason. But this margarita, also off the menu, apparently that's just a thing you can do. It looks pretty good. Does it taste pretty good? It's super strong, but it's using like clearly a... It's not like burning tequila, it's like a... Ooh, tequila. The lime is coming out super strong. The salt's interacting with it well. Mmm. Oh yeah. It might just be that there's too many margaritas in me at this point. But this is a this is clearly a nine out of ten margarita. I can enjoy these all night long. Mmm. It's just so good. Really enjoy it. Would recommend to a friend. Anyway, I'll, I'll see you at the next casino resort place on the Las Vegas Strip. Probably, maybe. The American Bar, and this is funny to me because it's an American themed bar, but as best I can tell, Las Vegas is already in America. Maybe I'm wrong. So yeah, it's got American presidents, it's got the American flag. It's a very interesting place, and this is a $14 margarita, so literally double the price of the previous one, plus a couple extra dollars. But is it any good? It's got some salt around the rim, which is nice. Got some curacao in there for a really strong, like, orange flavor. Honestly, curacao is a good add-in to a margarita. The, the lime is balanced out by those weird sour oranges that they grow on that weird Caribbean island. What's the deal with that island, by the way? Their one export is an alcoholic drink. Can they not do any better? Maybe they don't need to. This drink is very bitter. I want to say in a good way, but the more I'm drinking, the more I'm like... It's getting to me, you know? I think I'm going to have to give this drink worst rating so far. Especially given the price. It's a, uh, it's, it's a 4 out of 10. It's drinkable. I will drink the whole thing, especially at this price point. But is it the best margarita so far? Maybe the most interesting? But interesting in the same way that your friend is interesting, when he keeps stealing your, your socks from you, and then insisting that it's just a prank. But it's been years since you've seen those socks back. Is that a good prank? I don't think so. Anyway, look forward to seeing you at the most iconic one on the list so far, which is...
This is Margaritaville, which I'll be honest, before seeing it here in Vegas, I knew from the South Park episode, but it is the place for margaritas. And on the top floor, I guess because it's exposed to the sun, you're surrounded by so much water. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm like wet from all the misting, which is actually pretty cool. In low humidity places, giving you some cold water really does help out. But this is a Blackberry Moonshine Margarita. It costs $13. And if their whole name has margarita on it, it must be good, right? It's such a good immediate taste on your lips. It's like, it's smooth. It's like drinking a, it's like drinking a Ribena. And then it just delivers all this pain at the end. Oh, it's a harsh hit. It's a very harsh hit. Maybe I'm just not margarita enough to really appreciate this margarita. But it is harsh. If your favorite thing in alcohol is tasting the alcohol and going, oh, that hurts. I have found the place for you. Otherwise, Margaritaville, it's gonna be a two out of 10. I'll drink it again, but only, only after several other margaritas. Also, where's my salt round the rim? I paid $13, I'm just saying. Anyway, um, I'm hoping we can stop spending $14 a cocktail, because you know the margarita budget runs out real fast if you do that. And so next up we have It's a random casino because when you gamble, they give you free drinks to encourage you to gamble. It's actually not a free drink, you've got to tip them. I mean, you don't have to tip them, but you know, you don't have to pay at a bar. But this is what I got for a dollar when I asked for a margarita at the Park MGM. I like the Park MGM, there's a no smoking rule here. You know, I'm not a big smoker, but I'm especially not a big secondhand smoker. And so yeah, what does this, what does this one dollar margarita taste like? Let's find out. I thought it didn't look like a margarita, but it especially doesn't taste like a margarita. It has a strong, sweet energy drink taste. In fact, based on the colors, that's a vodka Red Bull. Oh, yeah. If you pay $1 for a margarita, it is an amazing value proposition, minus the gambling, but it tastes an awful lot like vodka and Red Bull, which is one way to make a margarita, I guess. There's no salt around the rim, there's no lime in the drink, but it does get you drunk. And so, I mean, I thought, I thought two out of 10 would be the lowest I'd give today. But this is a solid zero out of 10. Didn't even, this is an A out of seven, you know, like, this is a non-rated drink. Good job for trying. Better luck next time. Love it. Absolutely gonna enjoy this. And I'm gonna have to drink it, right? Otherwise, it'd be a waste of $20 not to. So I look forward to seeing you in whatever this was. Thank you for watching. Hate your guts. You're terrible. You should unsubscribe. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.